So, witchcraft. This is very, this was very interesting, to say the least. Anyway, let's go. Let's get down to business. One witchcraft exorum. Ooh, as some would like to tell Yes, I did watch the crush cards deck profile for this. I got a few things from that. It's very interesting to say the least, which definitely helps with playing uh, battle based shenanigans. Also, it's very big. So next, we have the Madame. Madame Bear. The basically the mass negation of the deck. Skill drain, if you will. It's the one time you six, but mass negation is very, very strong. So, she's a mono because she's level 8 and we can basically get there from every of our little witch caster. Kane is here to well, pop cards. I was thinking about playing, playing him at 2, but it came up too much in my hand and was a bit too bricky. So I decided to well, cut it down to 1. Next we have Edel, and she's here because she has a nice skirt. And next is uh, Shimietta. It's a free of, basically, it's a good normal summon. And she can bring out Madame, making for the effect of negation lock. Also, she can banish herself and send a witchcraft spell from the deck to the graveyard, allowing us to cycle it during the entry. Oh, she has a nice hammer. Next we have Tore. We're not using her that much. She's more of a one of anything. As I said, as I said, I'm mostly using Schmietta. Tore and the next one, Jenny, are mostly here. Because I can just pitch a spell and get Madame Bear or any of the other high level witchcrafters. And the vanish effects are useful. Jenny is very interesting, but it doesn't get that much of a use, and Victoria is, is kind of is kind of there. Next, we're in our witchcrafter spells. We have Triple Creation, which is basically the roll top of the deck. And for there is some deviation, some people would love to play 2. Well, I prefer to play it at 3 because, well, it's a 60 card deck, and we want to get our Schmidt as quickly as humanly possible. Next, we're playing Double Holiday, which is basically Monster Reborn. Well, double Drapping, which is a. Hey, Trunade or Giant Trunade, if you will. It's useful. Uh, unveiling is to summon any monsters uh, from our hands. Like if we draw the Madame or Hein or Ido or Golem. Oh, it just allows us to special summon the bricks, if you will. We're playing one by street because we don't need any more. As well, one scroll because well. Those recycle themselves from the grave, they set themselves onto the field during the end phase, and so there's no need to play them. Afterwards, we're going to the engines. So we're starting with the Magician's Soul engine. Free Magician's Souls, free Illusion of Chaos, and triple Preparation of Rites. Preparation of Rites is here, so we can search Illusion of Chaos. And Illusion of Chaos is here because it can search Magician's Souls. So basically, we're playing nine copies of Magician Souls. Yes, that is apparently a thing. Afterwards, we're playing the Magician's Hands. Triple left hand, one right hand, and triple restage. Why is that? Well, left hand can negate the effect of the first trap card the opponent activates during the turn. Unfortunately, it's only the first, but since people are not playing that many trap cards, in most situations it's going to be the only trap card. So that's why we're playing it at 3. As for the Magician's right hand, we're playing it at 1, since we have another card that prevents activation of spell cards, but 
in the condition that a spell card is already activated active on the field or the opponent has a spell caster. This is for those very niche situations. So I decided to just play it with it since, well, it has its usage. And the restage. Restage is here as a fodder. And an additional plus. If you send the restage to the graveyard by any means necessary, be it for Madame's Ver effect, for for Madame's Ver effect to negate traps, for Magician's Souls to draw, you will trigger Magician's Restage's effect, and you'll be able to search either the left or the right hand, giving you a negation outright. So that's the basic idea why restage is here because it provides pluses and negations one monster reborn one reasoning one called by the grave that's pretty self-explanatory we're playing triple shout ride it didn't come up too many times during testing but it's still a spell we can use so i decided why not also people are doing a lot of searching as much as they do in special summoning, so I thought maybe it could provide some pluses. Mistaken Arrest is for those situations that, well, we Mistaken Arrest is a mistake for a turn, making it very, very good to change to something like a Something that adds basically because it still it still allows the player to draw. Next we have double metal force fusion. I was uh, thinking about playing it at three, but it became too bricky. So I think two is the perfect number. We have a little sky striker engine with engage and drones. Mostly, I was thinking about it mostly due to the fact that well. It's a spell, we're playing a very spell-heavy deck, so if we were to resolve engage, we would get a plus out of this. Also, Horner Drones would get an effect as well. So that was my basic thought process when it comes to this. And one Absurd Goblin, because why the fuck not? And triple Foolish Burial Goods. And mostly so we can send either Restage or any of the Witchcraft spells. And trigger the, those effects, so that's basically a plus or metal fusion, of course. One terraforming and triple secret village of the spellcasters. So the opponent cannot activate any spells. What this deck basically does is saying very politely, screw you to the opponent in the spell department, trap department, and the monster effect in the department. As for the extra deck we're playing, one access code, one griffin, double unicorn, double selene, one crowley, one daybreaker, the shining magical warrior, double Cerberus, double phoenix, one linkaribo, one relinquished anima, and one sky striker is kagari. I think this came out much better than I anticipated. I really liked it. So yeah, that's that, that'll be it for today. If you like this deck, this video, yada yada yada, YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, etc, etc. And I will see you in the next one. Chikolo signing out. Peace!